Right, so remind me again, how does this go? It's diesel motorin und er. Hang on, hang on, right. Diesel motorin. Yes. Und. Und. Er. 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 Hallo und willkommen in diesem Motoren und der Erde. What he said. Hello, welcome to, and I shall say it in English, Diesel Engines and Their Heritage, Germany. episode four. We've come all the way to Germany to come and have a look at this. Built in 1994 or 1999, we don't know. Hmm. We, we tried to have a look at the information yesterday, and all we could establish from that was that there were two of them which look exactly the same. And yeah, so features look dot matrix. It's got a thing that says the place where it's going, which it. isn't actually the place where it's going at the moment. No, <laughs> which is quite concerning for us because <laughs> we want to go the other way <laughs> anyway. Dot matrix. I think as a result of coming out of communist rule, they were allowed modern looking things. <laughs> so there we go. Yes. Um, right, advantages of this um, train that I've found before right. we go into the technical details. Yes. Advantages are you can catch this to make sure that you don't waste a shot on the much better steam locomotives that work this line. <laughs> it's got drop lights. Yes. As demonstrated here. Um, other advantages are disadvantages are that you miss two of the steam trains yes. if you catch this unless you're coming from the Nigaroda up. Right, Adam, technicals. Technicals, right. It's red and cream. It's trying to be BR 1950s. Yes, it is. Instead, it's being DR 1990s. Hmm. We've got that coupling on the front. That's also a buffer. Yes, because all the automatic couplings. Yes. Um, it, it's got comfy seats, like this. I thought it was green because I keep looking at it and thinking it's a Croydon tram. Mm. Uh, now, uh, Adam, the, the Germans are notorious for um, sticking to time, and yes, um, I, th I think we, oh, yeah, need, we need to get on. So, um, cheers, thank you. <laughs> 